Hi everyone, it's Karen, and I'm here with a quick little flip through type of thing I want to do with a scrap pack of assorted papers and cardstock that I picked up at Walmart earlier today. It was $2.94, and it's a pound of paper. So I thought, I'm curious to see what's in here. I haven't opened it yet, excuse the crinkles. I had looked, I was at Walmart last week, and I had looked for this and didn't see any. And then I was there again today. And today they had, I saw it up on the very, on top of the top shelf. So called the husband over, he's six feet tall, and he was able to rescue it for me. So it said anything on top shelf, ask for an associate. None in sight, the husband's six foot, he can reach it. So let's see what we got in here. Ooh, that's textured. And so is this one, that's pretty. So these will be used in different card making things and, and scrapbook, uh, not scrapbook, card making things and junk journal things. Well, that's kind of neat. So I have no idea what all's in here, and I'll never get it back in the package either, so. Oh, someone chewed on that one. <laughs> it looks like it. Well, that's kind of cute, little sparkles and little bits and pieces in there. These will be fun for and this page. Some of these are thin. Oh, embossed, that's pretty. This looks like it's kind of a little bit glitter stuff on it. So I'm going to put these guys aside for a couple minutes. Oh, I like that one. That's really cool. Ooh, and there's several of them. It's really thin. That one's really fun. That looks like it's part of a butterfly. Oh, so it's, it's double. Is it double sided? Yeah, it's double sided, and it's that was very thick. So some neat textures. This one looks like it got scrunched, but that's it'll still work. More of the embossed. It has a bit of a musty smell to it, though. There's more of this one that I, I really like that one. That's cute. More of this stuff. I'm glad there's actually lots of this in here because I really like this. Oh, different size, oh, a different color of the embossed paper. Some of them almost feel like a bit like a construction paper. Oh, it's a different color on the two sides. That's neat. Oh, I like this one. It's more from that butterfly. I have a couple little junk journals I'm planning on making in the near future, and some of these papers are going to be fantastic for that. I cannot get, the, there we go. Oh, that's cool. I'm not flipping any of these over, and then some of them actually there's stuff on the other side.
This is neat. These almost have like the look of handmade paper. Not sure if this one was damaged or it crumples in it. Some of this is really heavy paper and some of it's very thin. This is a really cool, really cool variety in here. That's neat. Some of these have really interesting textures to them. So I'm not doing a lot of talking with these, just kind of flipping through them all. Yeah, I think some of these are going to be fantastic for for junk journals. It looks like they took one of these little, not quite glitter, but one of those paper pads and just cut a whole bunch. What size are these? Roughly five by three. Okay. I was thinking maybe they had taken a six by six pad and just cut it in half, but one way but not quite. There's some of these I really like the texture on them. And some of these, I bet I can use some of these just as journaling cards as is. Maybe do some decorative stuff on the front. certainly have lots to pick and choose from. Now well, so far I'm really happy with this this bundle. Yeah, for just shy of three dollars, you can't go wrong. Yeah, some of these, I don't know if you can see See the texture in that? A little bit of sparkle on those. Then we'll look at these little guys last. I might divide these out and kind of put some of the light papers together afterwards. These might be nice if I'm making Halloween cards. This would be fantastic for Halloween cards or autumn cards. Butterfly. That's a different design. Yeah, I'm going to have to go through this and I'm going to divide this up into different piles of different types of things. Ooh, I like that. The fun texture on there. Another embossed page. These are almost like a business card size. Two sheets here. 
Maybe that's just one piece of paper. Those are cool. I really like these style of pages. That's really neat. I think most of these have been... I'm just grabbing them upside down because the interesting... I think the interesting design is on that side. These are going to make for really fun little accent pieces on junk journal pages, art journaling, any of that kind of stuff. I'm excited to be able to use all of this. There's a lot of paper in this package for a little less than $3. No complaints on the price and what I'm getting for this. That is two pages. I like these. These ones are really neat with the textures. And the last little pile, more of this textured. That's really cool. Kind of like a foil look thing with the embossing on it. I really like those. There are a lot of this paper, but that's I like these soft pastel-y colors, so that's that's fine by me. And sparkle and stuff in those ones. Pink floral embossed. Back to this stuff. I love this. I don't know what this paper is. I really like that one. A floral embossed on pink. Embossed on a nice dark green. This is kind of fun. Little embossed squares on here. And some small cuts with this orange with this little bit of glitter raised design on them. So there we have it. A whole boatload. This is a lot of paper in this this cool little paper pad. I really like this. There's all kinds. All kinds of fun papers in here. So there we have it. Whole collection of all kinds of papers that I picked up in a scrap paper pack from Walmart. Now that's the label on it. A scrap pack assorted cardstock. Like I say, it was $2.94. So and there's a ton of really cool papers in there. So I'm really excited to have a chance to, really excited to get a chance to start using some of those in some of my junk journals. So you'll probably see those videos coming up in the next little while as well. So thanks for watching everyone. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.